Many thanks to Nav, Jerb, Devitan and Scale Speed Gaming for making this video possible. Deflection kills require a deep level of understanding only attained through thousands of hours of practice, but with this video I'll make that process much quicker for you. You will learn which weapons provide the best chance of deflection on each surface type in DayZ, and most importantly, the angles you should be shooting at with which weapons to get some of the most glorious kills of your gaming career. However, only the smartest and most skilled players in DayZ are able to kill players around corners with deflection, just like my good Australian buddy Lax Hawthorn. Now this guy is such a pro at deflection kills right, that he can pretend like he didn't mean to kill this guy, but he secretly wanted him dead. Watch closely. Like always, let's start with the very basics. Deflection is what happens when the inner workings of the game believes a bullet shouldn't try to penetrate a surface, but instead ricochet, simulating real world physics. And strangely, this is also simulating what happens when I ask a girl for her phone number, making me the most qualified person to explain this mechanic. Now there are three things to consider when attempting to get a deflection kill. The surface type you're deflecting off of, the weapon you're using, and the angle you shoot the surface at. All surface types in DayZ have stats on them. One of these stats is called the deflection stat. For example, the surface type deflection stat of concrete is 1.2, where metal is 1.5, making metal easier to deflect off of. Here are the rest of the nine most popular surface types in DayZ and their deflection stats. However, the thinner the object you're deflecting off of, the lower the deflection stat gets on that surface type. For example, this metal fence has a lower deflection stat than this hangar door because the metal on the fence is thinner. It's not because it's easier to penetrate this surface, it's because the deflection stat is lower on this fence. This means the best surfaces to deflect off of are thick objects that are made of either concrete or metal. Now you can deflect off of wood, but it's much more difficult. The others here on this list are not worth deflecting off of because the angle requirement is so low that you should probably just shoot straight at the target instead. This means the rest of this list isn't really worth attempting to deflect off either, especially terrain. Terrain is very difficult to deflect off of and the reason I'm highlighting terrain is because you may be tricked into believing concrete roads are good for deflection, they're not at only 0.1. However, the concrete floors in buildings can be deflected off of easily because they're part of the structure and assign the surface type concrete at 1.2. Now because I know people will ask in the comments about bushes, bushes can be deflected off of, but because the hitbox on bushes is so strange, I couldn't find a way to demonstrate this. Meaning, you would have to be ultra unlucky for even one bullet to deflect off of a bush, with only 0.2. However, they did reduce the deflection stat on bushes a lot, as you can see from this clip. Well done, that's one down and two to go, let's continue on to weapons. Each ammo type in DayZ is given a deflection stat. This number is just a number used in the calculation, not the angle it would deflect at. That would be unrealistic, and there would be no need for a deflection stat to be on surfaces. As you can see, Buckshot and Slugs have zero as a deflection stat, which means they don't deflect at all. Regardless of whether this is intentional or a bug is unknown, all we know is that they're impossible to deflect with. Next up we have what I'm calling the low caliber group, all with a deflection stat of 30. And then we have the VSS regular ammo with 20, VSS armor piercing rounds with 15, and what I'm calling the high caliber group with just 10 deflection stat. The higher this stat is on a bullet, the more chance that bullet has to deflect when it interacts with a surface. And note how I say chance, because even if the angle is way above the minimum deflection angle, it still has a chance to not deflect and get stuck on impact. As a result, I'm calling this stat the deflection on impact chance stat. To show you my dick stat in more detail, I set up an experiment shooting this concrete wall at these angles, then shot at each of these locations to record how many of these shots deflected to get a percentage of deflection. On the left is the percentage, and on the bottom is the angles we're shooting at. 
Here are the results of the low caliber groups on concrete. Notice how the probability of deflection increases the higher the angle is, but never gets to 100%. This proves that there is a random hidden stat determining the chance of deflection. This hidden stat appears to be plus or minus 10%. If we go ahead and add the rest of the rounds in the game to this chart, we can see the VSS normal rounds, the armor piercing VSS rounds, and the high caliber group rounds. There are clear differences among these groups. One thing I noticed when testing the lower caliber group is that the Deagle just won't deflect at 45 degrees, where all the others in this group do, until I slowed it down with a piece of glass. This tells us that the speed of a round, when it hits the surface, does play a role in determining the deflection chance. However, after a lot of testing, the speed of a round has only a small effect on deflection. Now if we put a piece of metal on all of these angles, here are the results for metal versus concrete. Metal clearly allows for better deflections because it has a higher deflection stat. However, if we do the same for wood, which has only 0.4 deflection stat, the chances of deflection are reduced significantly. In fact, if we show only the low caliber group, we can see the wave flowing from left to right, from highest surface deflection to lowest surface deflection. This means there is an optimal angle for each weapon and surface type combination in DayZ, so I went on a mission to find it, which leads us to the third and final part of this video, the angle you shoot the surface at. To find what I'm calling the best angle of deflection, I flipped a house on its side and let the recoil do the work for me. The reason I did this is because the brick surface type in DayZ has a surface deflection stat of 1, meaning if we can find the minimum deflection angle of each weapon on this surface using the latest state-of-the-art technology, I can do some maths to find the formula that determines the best angle of deflection for each surface type. And I found it. It's surface type deflection stat times the deflection impacts chance stat equals the best angle of deflection. Or if we simplify this, STDs combined with dicks is bad. Something we all knew already, I think. However, this formula doesn't include how the speed of the bullet affects deflection chance. And because it only affects it a little bit, I DIY'd a formula that will correspond with my results that I got from testing to create this chart. On the top left you can see the different dicks and at the bottom you can see the current STDs. This chart shows the angle of impact and the angle of ejection for the brick surface type. Going back to our list here, let's go through each of these with this formula. Metal at 1.5, concrete at 1.2, wood at 0.4, foliage and plastic at 0.2, flesh, terrain and glass at 0.1 and finally fabric on its own at 0.05. From these results we can see that metal and concrete are the best surfaces to deflect off of but when we get to wood and beyond 75 plus degrees isn't worth deflecting off of at all. This chart also shows us that the 45 ACP rounds and rubber shells are best for deflecting. Both of them have the same deflection stat and both of them start at the same initial speed. But if we want to have the greatest chance of success when getting a deflection kill, the Deagle or Revolver are your best bet because of how it does 3 times the damage of the 45 ACP rounds. Yes, you will need to shoot at roughly 1 degree more, but that's well worth it for the extra damage you get. So the things to remember so far are that the lower caliber rounds are best for deflecting, with the Deagle and Revolver being the best, and you can try to get a deflection kill with other weapons, but I wouldn't waste ammo trying. For metal, the best deflection angle is 40 degrees, and for concrete, it's 50 degrees. Other surfaces aren't really worth it, and remember, terrain is very difficult to deflect off of. Now when it comes to the best angle of deflection, I'm talking about the highest angle you can shoot a surface at to get a bullet around a corner at the tightest possible angle. That's what I mean by best angle of deflection. However, the closer you are to this best angle of deflection, the more chances your bullet has of not deflecting and the more a bullet gets slowed down. And because a bullet gets slowed down more, the less damage it does on the other end. So while these are the best angles for deflecting, they're not the best angles for getting deflection kills. To find those angles, we need to go back to our probability charts for concrete and metal. Because these don't just tell us the chance of a bullet deflecting, they also tell us the rate at which a bullet gets slowed and therefore the damage drop off. Now obviously we want maximum speed for maximum damage, so for metal, the best angle for deflection kills is around 60 degrees, and for concrete it's around 70 degrees. Shooting beyond these angles isn't beneficial. These angles are absolutely perfect for getting deflection kills. 
Another huge reason for retaining speed as much as possible is what I'm calling DAD, dispersion after deflection. When a bullet ricochets off of a surface, the engine creates a kind of cone of probability. The faster a round is traveling, the smaller this cone becomes, making deflection more reliable. And if that wasn't enough, on top of this, the engine gives the deflected bullet a random number between 0 and 100. This number is responsible for slowing the bullet down after deflection by a percentage. So the faster your round is traveling, the less it gets slowed down by this. Because of all of these reasons, the Deagle and Revolver are clear winners when it comes to deflection. These weapons are the best at deflecting in DayZ. If you want to get a deflection kill, these are the weapons you use. Which brings us full circle back to Lax, the pro deflector. He chose the best weapon to get this kill. He chose the best surface to deflect off of, and he chose the best angle. I mean, this guy even got a headshot with this kill. This is the best deflection kill I've ever seen. Deflection is without a doubt the most complicated mechanic in DayZ, and you just learned it, well done. Now because there's so much randomness when it comes to deflection, getting a deflection kill is going to be half luck and half skill. So you're halfway to getting a deflection kill. That's awesome. However, I want you to go all the way and that's why I'm holding a competition. The best deflection kill submitted to my email address will win not only a copy of DayZ, but the Livonia DLC too. I will put the name and link to the deflection kill in the comments. Good luck. Now I want to know your opinion on how deflection works in DayZ. From what you've seen in this video, do you believe it's realistic in its current state? Thank you for watching and have a good day.